Upon visiting LMS.sourcegun State College at edu.ph, you will be required to log in using an account. Take note that you will be given an account with username and password once you get enrolled in Sourcegun State College. For your first login, input the username and the default password, then click Login. Once you are logged in, the dashboard will appear, but it will require you to change your password since you are using a default one. Before changing your password, take note of these password requirements. Make sure that your new password meets these requirements. Now type your current password, that is the default password. Then type your new password and retype it in the confirmation box. After this, click Save Changes. That's it! Your password has been changed. Click Continue to proceed to the dashboard. In editing your profile, remember that the key is the profile picture icon. On the dashboard, the bigger icon can be found at the upper left while the smaller one can be found at the upper right. You may click either of these two to proceed to the editing profile page. In this video, let us use the smaller icon. Click it, then choose profile from the menu. You will be directed to this page where you have to click the drop down button above the profile picture icon. Upon clicking it, you will see several menus which will direct you to their respective editing pages. From among them, click Edit Profile, then you will be directed to the Edit Profile page. You may now edit general information such as first name, surname, and email address, which are required details. You may also choose your preference in displaying your email. You may provide other details such as MoodleNet profile, city or town, country, and time zone. You may also provide a description of yourself. In this example, the user is a first-year Bachelor of Science and Information Technology student of Sorsigan State College, Mulan Campus. You may now proceed to uploading your profile picture. You may drag and drop an image file or you may click this paper icon. Then a new window will open where you can choose whether to upload a file, download using URL, private file, or through Wikimedia. In this example, we will upload a file, so we are going to click Choose File. Your file folder will open, then choose the picture you want to use as profile picture. After this, click Upload this file. You will be directed back to the editing profile, where you may add picture description. You may also add additional names, interests, and other optional details. After this, click Update Profile. And you're done updating your profile.
Let us now discuss the dashboard where you can find many of the most significant buttons and menus. In the middle, you can see your profile picture and name. You may also customize this page if you want. At the extreme upper right corner, present are the notifications button, message or conversation button, and the profile menu where you can proceed to your dashboard, profile page, grades, messages, preferences, or settings. This is also where you can find the logout button. At the right side, you can find the calendar, a timeline, or a list of upcoming activities. In this case, there are no upcoming activities due. Private files. In this case, there are no files available and you can also manage your private files. And the list of online users. In this case, there is only one user, that is Marty Simon. Below the profile view, you can see the upcoming events, which is linked to the calendar. Below it is the course overview where you can find the list of the courses you are enrolled in. Take note that once you are enrolled, you will automatically be enrolled in your courses or subjects, which will appear in the left side of the window. In the course overview, you may filter the displayed courses. Could be all, in progress, future, or past courses. You may filter it also by course name. You may also choose on what way the courses are viewed, either card, list, or summary. At the lower part, you can find the contact information of Sorsogon State College. From the dashboard, you can find your courses either in the course overview or at the left side of the window. In this video, for example, the student is enrolled in course or subject IT214 Web Development. By clicking the course code, you will be directed to the course page. In the course layout, you can see the course title at the top. You may also find here the announcements, if there are. The announcements will also appear in your notifications button. When you click the announcement button, the existing announcements will appear here. If you are done reading them, just click the back button in your web browser. You may also find here the course syllabus. Click this button to view and download a PDF file of the course syllabus. Basically, the topics of each course are divided into sections or chapters. In this course, for example, the first section or chapter is entitled Introduction, which is divided into four topics with a chapter quiz. Other chapters are Syntax, Inclusion, and Backgrounds.
Let us try to click the lesson entitled What is CSS under the introduction section. Upon clicking it, you will be directed to the page where the materials are provided for this particular lesson. Once you are done with the lesson, tick the checkbox, then you may proceed to the next lesson and do the same thing until you are done with all the lessons for the particular chapter. After accomplishing the lessons, you may now take the chapter quiz, but this will be discussed in another lecture video. Lastly, you may now proceed to accomplishing the succeeding lessons. After accomplishing the lessons in a chapter, you may now proceed to take the chapter quiz. To do this, click the chapter quiz button. Once you are directed to the chapter quiz page, take note of the details on how many attempt or attempt is or are allowed. In this example, only one attempt is allowed. For other quizzes, there may also be time limitations. Taking into account these limitations set, you may now click Attempt Quiz Now. Upon clicking it, the questions will be displayed. For a multiple choice quiz such as this one, you will have to click the radio button corresponding to your answer to signify selection of option. You may also clear your choice if you happen to change your mind as to the best option. You may do it several times as long as you have not yet clicked finish attempt. Once you are done, you may now click the finish attempt button. If all the items are already answered, you may return to your attempt to recheck or review your answers. If you are sure of all your answers, you may now submit and finish your quiz. A confirmation box will appear, then click Submit and Finish. Once you submit all and finish it, the details about the quiz will be displayed including the result. If you are done reading the details provided, click Finish Review. Upon clicking it, the summary of your attempts will be provided, and then you're done with the quiz. To view your grades, click the profile button at the upper right corner of the window, then choose Grades. Upon clicking it, your grades for the courses you are taking will be displayed.